Oh, hey. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. All right. Get y'all loaded here so I can see ya. It's being a bear this morning. Facebook is being annoying. Nope. Don't want to create a post. Thanks. So Facebook for asking. All right. Here y'all come. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Susan. Hey, Suzanne. There you are. Hey, Carrie. Good morning. Morning, Debbie. Hey, Karen. Hey, Carol. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Donna. Hey, Amory. Hey, Melissa. Randy, Faith, y'all here. All right. Hey, Kathy Murphy. Good morning, Debbie. All right, guys. Good morning. So, it's Saturday. And listen, last week I did not plan well with my dessert for the week. Can I just say that? I'm still nursing my Joe. I did not plan well for my week. And I had Glooky. I was happy with my Glooky pudding. Glooky is a great dessert. But I like my Glooky for dinner, like after my supper. I like to have a little bowl of Glooky. Just a little palate cleanser at the end of, you know, your meal. <laughs> palate cleanser. Anyway, that was a good dessert for me. But my afternoon snack y'all when three o'clock rolls around i need my cup of coffee and my sweet treat i'm like i'm like a little old lady set in her ways who needs her little sweet treat i i need my sweet treat at three o'clock so this week i had a lot of serenes um greens the cheeto things so good i had um, huh? They are. I had shameless crackers topped with jam uh, on plan jelly and um, laughing cow. So good. But I didn't have my cake. And if there's anything we've learned, I need cake at three. Or dessert. Uh, bar. Sweet. Something. Something decadent. That's what I like. So. I'm going to make it today. I'm going to make my sweet treat to get me through the week. Um, all right. Let me tighten up the old apron. So keep my dress clean this morning. I'm going to make something that I don't know if it's going to work, but I don't know why it wouldn't. But I have been thinking about this all week. Okay. I don't know why. But this idea came to my head and I thought, I need to make that for a dessert for the week. But if I'm going to do that, I'm doing it on video because it's going to take me some time to make. So this may take me a little bit of work to make this recipe. So this may be a longer video. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to make s'mores cheesecake bars. That sounds so good. Oh, that sounds good, Nikki. I love cinnamon cheesecake. That sounds really good. So what I'm going to make is a graham cracker type crust for the bottom, a cheesecake layer, a layer of my marshmallows, and then a layer of chocolate. Tell me that doesn't sound fantastic. So, all right, we should get started because it's probably gonna take a little bit. So I wrote down what I wanna do. I, like I said, I'm winging this. I have stuff written down, but what I have written down is what I had in my head for an idea because I had to write it down so I could get the ingredients out prior to starting the video. So, all right. I'm going to start with the crust. I'm going to do one cup of almond flour. So this is going to be a 9 by 13. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll fit the pan. Will it? I don't know. So a cup of almond flour. You can use baking blend for the whole crust. I'm gonna use half almond flour and half baking blend because the oils that come out of the almond flour really help crusts stick together. Um, they do have marshmallow extract. Nikki, I had gotten mine, um, y'all gave it to me, 
but you can get it on Amazon. Um, but Olive Nation does sell stuff as well, and I will be having <clears throat> very soon, stay tuned, because I will be having um, an affiliate link for Olive Nation that will save you. I'm going to have my own coupon code. What? It's going to have my name in it. I'm going to have a coupon code to save you money on Olive Nation. So that's coming soon. It's exciting. So, all right, I'm doing a cup of almond flour and a cup of baking blend. And then I'm going to do some butter. In a normal type pressed crust, like a normal almond flour crust, you would use coconut oil. But because I'm making graham cracker, I want it. Butter is part of the flavor of graham cracker. So I'm going to use, I'm going to start with two tablespoons. I may need to add a little. It depends on the texture, how it gets. So we'll start with two and see how it goes. And then I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add super sweet. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of that. I'm going to taste this before I press it into my pan to make sure I get the mixtures right. Yes, doll. Okay. Okay. So two tablespoons of super. Did I write that down right? Yeah. Oh, daddy's home. Yep. Two tablespoons of super sweet, and a couple tablespoons of collagen. And collagen makes crusts kind of sticky. So that's why I'm putting the collagen in. How much did I write down? I wrote down that I would put two tablespoons. So collagen will make it kind of sticky which is what we want we kind of want that sticky texture so it holds together like a crust so I may need to add water I don't know we're gonna try and see what happens let's try I can see already my butter is stuck at the top of my container I need to push it down put that down in there all right when it gets the right texture, I'll know because it will start to form a kind of a ball. Just give them to me. It's all right. Mama, yes, did, you, did you show them your, our flowers that we picked? I It should kind of stick together a little bit and it doesn't so that means I need more fat and maybe even need some more water need some water I didn't put any water in it so I'm gonna put about another tablespoon of butter and then I'm gonna add probably I should measure let's do two tablespoons of water to start and let's do one let's do one tablespoon and then add more if I need it don't want to screw it up it in there. You hear it change? When it changes like that, it's getting sticky. That might be enough. We'll see. Nope. Still need a little bit more water. It doesn't take a lot. We'll write this down. Don't worry. We'll write it down with the right final amounts. Here we go, hear that? Okay. Yep, looks right. Starting to get kind of like a moderately crumbly, but yet sticks together. It's perfect. Perfect. All right. I'm going to put, I'm going to spray the bottom of this pan. Um, only a tiny bit. I'm not baking it. I'm only going to spray just a little bit because sometimes these things are hard to get off the bottom. Just a tiny bit of spray seems to help, even though I'm not 
even though I'm not baking it. You could throw this in the oven for a few minutes if you wanted. Oh, I got some of my flour didn't mix up down at the bottom of that. It's all right. I'll mix it up with my fingers. They're cleanish. It's all right. Take no big deal. Who cares? Good morning, Lois. All right. I cut my finger this morning on the treadmill and it's so sore. Don't you cut yourself when you go for a walk on the treadmill? No. Yeah. I just did. I sliced my finger open this morning. My okay. cell phone holder was starting to fall and I jumped to grab it, smacked my hand on the bottom of the treadmill and sliced my thumb. Are you okay? Hurt. I'll survive. I probably won't die from it. But... No. Just being wimpy. You could take a cup and push this down too, but... You know what? Maybe I should bake it. What do you think? Maybe I should bake the bottom of this. I wonder if I should. It won't hurt it. Not. I mean, it'll be good, not baked. I want these to be no-bake bars. I'm not going to bake it. I'm not going to bake it. A normal crust like this would have egg whites in it, and then you would want to bake it. But I want a no-bake bar, so I'm not baking it. There. There's my crust. Just what I had in mind. I need another tug of my Joe. You don't think so, April? You would bake it a little. I mean, it just taste, it'd just make it taste a little more brown. It wouldn't hurt it any to bake it. But then, <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'll bake it. How many? Five or six. Excuse me. All right, I'll bake it a little. My oven's not on, so that's okay. That's all right. We'll bake it like ten minutes while I whip up the while I whip up the cheesecake. All right. So let's get this away and let's make the cheesecake filling. It's gonna take a little while to make the marshmallow anyway, so I'll leave that out. I'm gonna need that, and I'm probably gonna need that. All right. Thank you, babe. Yeah. Go do your I know. chores. Thank y'all. Yeah. Okay. Next. As long as I can bring my phone and my cider. You do you, boo. Love you. Love you too, honey. Do a good job. Make me proud. I'll do my best. All right. It's bedroom cleaning time in the York house. Cheesecake. Let's get a mixing bowl out. I'm gonna make a no bake cheesecake filling. If you wanted to, um, if you wanted to make this smaller and just do an eight by eight, you could do this with just one bar of cheesecake. Do half the crust. I'm just making a full one because if it comes out good, I'll share with people. If it doesn't come out good, I'll eat it all myself. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> but I think it's gonna come out good because how can you go wrong with this? You were talking about sweet treats and one of my regulars typically always dropped off. We call him the sweet one, so your timing was perfect. <laughs> you have Tipsy a lot, don't you, at your house? I see you post a lot of pictures of Tipsy. I love that name, Tipsy. All right, two bars. I'm using low fat cream cheese. You could use full fat if you wanted. It's just gonna be more, it's gonna be thicker. If you use, it's gonna be thicker and heavier and more sweet, or not more sweet, more um, heavy S. Yes, you do, Bonnie, and it's so easy. Marshmallow is so easy to make. I mean, you could go buy those Max Mallows and spend like 12 bucks for a batch if you wanted. But these are gonna be so easy. Easy peasy. Why would you wanna do that when you can make them like this? You show Lucy how to make them. She can make marshmallow easy peasy. 
All right, I'm gonna nuke that for 30 seconds. If it's at room temperature, it would have been fine, but it ain't. So, I'm gonna do, my finger hurts. Look at my boo-boo, isn't it awful? It's ruining my whole day. I'm Murphy. Half a cup. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning, Cheryl. I'm gonna do half a cup of half and half. You could do heavy cream, but again, full cream cheese, heavy cream, you're gonna be on heavy S side. I don't want it. I want it to lighten it up anywhere that I can because just because I can have a heavy S doesn't mean I need a heavy S. And I'm gonna be eating this all week, so I don't need heavy, heavy. I'm going to do half a cup of gentle sweet. I'm going to taste all this after and see how it tastes. And some, I don't know, tablespoon or so of vanilla. And I got to get out Methuselah. You guys, you should say your goodbyes now to Methuselah. Hi, Roger. Smile. Saturday. Um, What was I just gonna say? I got distracted by Roger. Oh, you should say your goodbyes to Methuselah now because Methuselah, she's going in the trash this week. I got a new mixer coming from Pampered Chef. So I'm saying goodbye to my 20 year old hand mixer. It's time. It's time she went away. It's time. Have a good day. Have a good day. It's going to be delicious. That's how it's going to be. I'm going to put some gelatin in this. I forgot. I wrote that down and then I didn't do it. I want to put a little bit of hot water and a little bit of gelatin together and put it in there because gelatin makes cheesecake more cheesecake -y. Hi, Mom and Dad from Eat Easy Chairs. Hi, Mom and Dad. Relax then on Saturday. It's a good thing to do. All right, I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of gelatin in there and just let it sit for a couple of minutes and it'll firm up. And I'm gonna put that in my cheesecake and that's gonna make it denser and more cheesecake-like. I should have mixed that up before I mixed this up, but I forgot. Yes, I'm throwing away Tony's love gift of his the mixer he got me 20 years ago, 21 years ago. He also got me a Pioneer Woman Dutch oven and the enamel's coming off that. So I got a new Pioneer, I mean, I got a new Pampered Chef Dutch oven coming. So that's also going bye-bye. So, I mean, all good things must come to an end, right? My coffee's cold. That's unacceptable. All right, let's make some marshmallows while that gelatin is sitting up, which takes a couple minutes. Got to multitask marshmallows. I have to look up my own recipe because I don't remember how to do it. You guys are quiet this morning. You guys are just sipping your coffee, listening along. Oh, Lord, Anne-Marie, my unboxing would take, oh, we'll have to see. It's going to be a big unboxing. Big. I am getting, I'm going through my cabinets today and tomorrow and ditching some stuff, a lot of stuff. All right. 
I have to look at my own recipe. Third a cup of water. And then how much gelatin? Two tablespoons of gelatin. This is for the marshmallows. Mix it up. I gotta put a half a cup of erythritol and a half a cup of See, that's the texture I wanted the gelatin for my cheesecake, and I didn't get it, which clearly means I need to put more gelatin in my cheesecake. There we go. Told you I was winging it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Karen. Yes, they will, Lori. Um... I got all new baking pans, new cookie sheets, new utensils for everything. I got a new mixer, a new food chopper, a new um, immersion blender. I got um, a Dutch oven. I got a cast iron skillet with a cover. I got baking stones. I got a pizza thingy majigger. I got, I got one of everything. That's what I got. And I also have a chunk of gelatin that didn't dissolve that has to go. Bye bye. Get, get off my spoon. All right. I got my gelatin. So my gelatin's nice and thick, which is what I want. And I'm gonna put that in my cheesecake and whip it up because as that sits in the fridge, it's gonna get an awesome texture. Oh, I got all new knives from Pampered Chef. I got two mandolins for other people. It's crazy what I got. It's insane. It's insane. Uh, it was a lot, Karen. <laughs> um, over $3,000. Crazy. good oh, I keep flinging that all over my computer mm. oh that's good all right those there for now because I need to use them in a little bit okay cheesecake filling done now I need to make the marshmallows so I have to look at my recipe again. half a cup of water One cup of erythritol. Um, Tracy Allen, who is normally on these calls but is awake. Yes, Kathy, thank you. It's all right. Woo. Let's set that timer for five minutes, shall we? <laughs> Everybody all of a sudden remember the crust at the same time. <laughs> oh my word. All right. 
I'm going to put a cup of erythritol. Tracy Allen tried this with allulose and they stayed sticky. They did not dry up the way erythritol does. Okay, cup of erythritol. Warm it up. I'm gonna whisk it around so it gets dissolving. All right, let it simmer for two to three minutes to around minimum of 100 up to 200 degrees. Put your firmed up gelatin in a stand mixer and slowly drizzle the syrup into the stand mixer. Isn't that terrible? It's not been that long since I did it myself and I can't even remember. I'm gonna bake my crust probably 10 minutes total, but my oven was cold. So my oven was cold when I put it in there. Oh, all right, put my gelatin. Whoops, I got some gelatin on the top there that didn't dissolve. Can't have that mixed in my marshmallows. Just add a little extra, won't hurt nothing. Don't you worry about it, it's fine. All right, my gelatin in there. And then, oh. Terrible. I gotta remember, I gotta read the whole thing. Slowly drizzle the syrup into the stand mixer, add a splash of vanilla, mix on high for seven to ten minutes. Okay, I'm gonna add the vanilla right now. It's my recipe. I wrote it. I should be able to add the vanilla whenever I want. Alright. Gotta get that up to a simmer. High crust is looking good. The only thing I have left is the chocolate. And I'm not gonna do that until I'm done because I don't want it to harden up on me. I wanted the stainless steel nonstick skillet and the other pot, what's th that named? Or I have an induction oven, but I can't spend that much on my credit card with all the restrictions going on. Are you talking about Pampered Chef? Or are you talking about the skillets that I have? I have the, um, I have the Ninja foodie nonstick, never stick. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, we are on the way to the cafe. Oh my god, say hi to Pearl for me if you see her. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. I want to go to the cafe so bad. Someday I'll get there. Right? Just nod your head and say, yes, dear. In Whatever old, you want, dear. In the old normal, maybe, but not the new normal. I'm going to go someday to Nashville and get a cupcake and a coffee. Yeah, okay. Pampered Chef skillet. The skillets are crazy expensive at Pampered Chef. They're like, oh, I almost bought the whole cast iron set, but then I decided I didn't want all of my pans to be cast iron, or not my, like my baking pans, not my, I didn't replace my frying pans and stuff, obviously, because I love my Ninja. So I didn't get any of that, but the bakeware and stuff, I could have gotten, um, the whole set of Pampered Chef cast iron that has the baking pan and the casserole dishes. But I got two, I got the Dutch oven and then I got the skillet that's like this big with a big cover, it's deep. You can like fry chicken and stuff in it. I got that. And then I got the, um, uh, I got the stones, the baking, you know what I'm trying to say? The cookie bar paint, I don't know. The nine by 13, they're like that deep and then they go down from there. I got those. So I'm gonna get rid of all my Pyrex. I use my cast iron pan for Chef Pan to make, ooh. I don't like shepherd's pie. You, you're talking about the term healthy mama shepherd's pie? All right, this is simmering. It's gotta simmer for two to three minutes. We got 30 seconds left on the timer. Um. I did get a pizza stone. I've always said I hated stones because I'm just bad at using them. They make me nervous, but I decided to give it another go. And we've got stones. I've got a pizza stone and then the bar the baking pans. A little bit more. I'm gonna go a little bit more. So yeah, I'm excited for the pizza set. It's got the pizza cutter, it's got the wooden thing you know that you put the pizza on anyway I'm pretty excited I'm really excited for the mixer and the chopper and immersion blender combo it's called the fit fit and flex or flex and fit or 
flex and fold or flip and flex. Something. It's two F's. That's all I know. Something like that. Flip and flex. Flip, flip, flip and flex. Something. I don't know. All I know is I'm going to get rid of three appliances and replace it with one. Even my beloved Ninja Chopper. It's okay. The Pampered Chef one does the same thing. <laughs> it does, Faith. I'm totally getting stoned. Pampered Chef stoned. Nobody hang up. Hang up. I always say hang up like, like I'm on a phone call. I'm gonna check the temperature of this. I wanna make sure it stays at a good temp. I love my Ninja Chopper too, Connie. I absolutely love that thing. I use it all the time, but the Pampered Chef one is the same idea. So, it should be okay. It's just, it has like an immersion blender handle. And then the chopper looks the same as the Ninja. You just put the, nin the handle on top of it. And you can put veggies in it to slice. So you should put the handle on top of it. So it's the same idea as the Ninja Chopper, but it becomes my immersion blender. It's got an end for that and it becomes a hand mixer. And I need, I need space. I've got too much in my cabinets. So, all right, I'm gonna take the uh, crust out. Okay. Lightly browned, which is all I want. I don't want it super baked. Okay, I think my syrup's done. I'm gonna whip it now. Okay, let's see. You just want to drizzle it in real slow while it's because it'll start to melt that gelatin back down. Then you can turn it up. Turn it up on high and let it go about seven minutes. All right, set my timer. Nope, not seven hours. That would be too long. It'd be really hard marshmallows at that point. <laughs> Sorry, Marlene. Do you like the Ninja Chopper? I love it. I love it. You can get it, yeah, you can get it about 20. I hear you, Donna. I hear you. The reason I got the Ninja Chopper is because it came with um, my cookware. It was like a free gift with the cookware. And I, what did, no, it was a free gift with something. Oh, it was a free gift with my air fryer. And then I got a second one as a free gift. So I have a backup and I keep it because you just never know when something's gonna break. And you have to keep, you know, you gotta have a chopper. I gotta have a chopper. Alright, so now, see if I hadn't put that crust in the oven like you all made me, I'd be ready to put my cheesecake on top, but because I put it in the oven, it's hot, and now I can't put my cheesecake on it. Marlene! <laughs> Blendtec is an amazing tool. I had the, um, years ago, when we didn't have the budget to do it, we bought a Vitamix because we went to a home show and they were using the Vitamix and they were making peanut butter and smoothies and chopping vegetables and I bought one and I, I used it a lot while I was pregnant. I, I drank a lot of smoothies when I was pregnant. I craved smoothies and so I drank a smoothie every morning. Um, when I was pregnant, but other than that, I didn't use it that much. And then when I started Trim Healthy, I used it and I didn't like it. It warms stuff up too much. It, some people love their Vitamix. I'm not knocking Vitamix, but it wasn't for me. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. 
And then the switch started to break, so it stopped working, so I got a Ninja, and that served me really well for two years um, until I killed it because I used it to death. To death. And that's when I started nagging my husband. I need a blend tech. I want a blend tech. They're quieter. I want a blend tech. With that cover. I know it's ridiculously priced, but that thing serves me well. I have, it has paid for itself over and over and over. It does me, Angela, if, if I, a lot of people love their Vitamix. A lot of people do, but it, it warms stuff up because it was so powerful. This will too, if I let it go long enough and there's a setting on it for warm stuff. But I just, I didn't, it warm, all my smoothies came out warm. Like I just didn't like it. We're getting marshmallow. I have that too, Amy. I haven't used it. Well, I used it once and it exploded in my blender because I tried it with a smoothie and apparently it's not for a smoothie. Uh. <gasps> my rule of no appliances. I know, Marlene. My dream is to someday have a kitchen where I have a big walk-in pantry that I can put all of my appliances in with outlets so I can go in there and use them in the walk-in pantry. Or like Amy Gaskin has where she just pulls out a drawer and her appliances are there and she just plugs, they're plugged in all the time. She just pulls out the drawer and uses her blender. I love that so much. You cut my trust. because it's 45 degrees. It's gonna cool it off. It may or may not get some grass in it because my husband's mowing the lawn, but it's okay. A little grass in your food never hurt anyone, right? unsweetened dark chocolate and add more sweetener if you want. I'm using Trim Healthy Mama chips. I love them. Easy to freeze. Blendtec ever go on sale? Yeah, they do. They do. So it depends what kind of blend tech you're looking for, Lori. If you're looking for one with a cover that comes down like that right now, that's on sale on Blendtec's website. Don't gasp. That one is on sale from $1,099 for $7.99 right now. It's on sale. Regular Blendtec, they're, they're amazing. I just wanted that cover because for two reasons. I explode things, as we all know. And I mean, and it makes it a lot quieter. So that one's $7.99. The regular ones you can get for like three on Amazon. They go on sale quite a bit. Just turn it into marshmallow, y'all. My timer's gonna go off, but I need about three more minutes. It's seven to 10 minutes, and I can tell I'm gonna need a few more minutes. Nope, no marshmallow extract in, in it, Michelle. It tastes like marshmallow, because it is marshmallow. What did you have for breakfast? I had a coffee that I'm still nursing, even though I'm not supposed to be. And um, I had a bowl of cottage cheese. That was my breakfast this morning. And apparently some chocolate chips. These are so good. I think so. 
go, Angela. I think it's the same power. Lori, I don't have an affiliate link for this one. I have an affiliate link for the Amazon one, the regular one. No, you don't need Mich you don't need it, Michelle. It's getting there. It's almost there. It starts to look like marshmallow fluff. It's perfect. Before you put your spoon in it, KJ, so you don't break your arm. See, it's starting to look like marshmallow fluff. Look at that. So good. That is so good, y'all. Did you order your t shirt yet, Angela? I got it. I got a KJ t-shirt in my For anybody that did order them, we had to wait until the end of the month and order the t-shirts. So the t-shirts are coming to be made. They won't be terribly long, but they're on their way to the person that's making them to be made and sent out. I'm so excited for them. I can't wait to get my t-shirts. All right, look. Look at that beautifulness right there. Look at it. It's beautiful. All right, it's cold enough out. That crust should be cold. I need, where's my, uh, I don't have a trivet. I ordered one for the other chef, but I don't have one right now. Let me go get it, see if it's cooled off. warm but I think it's okay it'll get cold in the fridge Lynette I'm making s'mores cheesecake bars so here's what I've got I've got a graham cracker graham cracker crust I didn't say they were easy I said I was winging it they're no big though I didn't say they were easy did I say these were easy Bonnie you were watching the wrong video mama all right here's my cheesecake filling Yes, I'm all right with that. I am all right with that. I love cheesecake. Cheesecake filling. I, the, if you see a few little lumps in it, it's because my cheesecake, my uh, cream cheese was still a little too cold. If your cream cheese is still a little too cold, it will have a few lumps, did you know that? It's okay, I don't care, it tastes the same. Don't matter to me, I better get that extra cheesecake off there. I don't wanna lose that. I better I better take care of that. All right, no, oh, that's good. All right, now let's put the marshmallow on. Oh man, can I just lay that back in there? Make a mess. Marshmallow cream on top of that. I'm gonna have extra marshmallow. I'm just gonna make them into marshmallows. Just put them in a pan on some parchment, spread them out, and then cut them up into squares. If I have any left, I think I'm gonna have some anyway. Marshmallow cream. I mean, look at this. Not a speck of sugar in this anywhere. Who needs sugar? Who needs it? Not me, mama. Neither do you. You don't need it. Nope, don't need it. Okay, that's good. I'll put... <coughs> it took too big of a mouthful. All right, I'm gonna put a little coconut oil in here. Yes, I will, Connie. It'll probably be a day or two before it gets posted, but yes. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon or two into that chocolate and I'm gonna melt it real slow and pray to the Lord above that it doesn't seize because I don't wanna lose all my chips. Oh my gosh, my burner's still on. 
I'm like, why is it so hot over here? It's like a thousand degrees. So my burners, my oven, my, my microwave's all hot to the touch. Yeah, this, so this will be a heavy S because it's full of, it's gonna have a lot of, um, it's got all that cream cheese. So it's a heavy S. The cream cheese is what makes it a heavy S. I have to clean that up, you know. for the other ones. So 30 seconds at a time on the chocolate with a little bit of oil. You don't want to overdo it because they will seize and I'm going to try really hard not to let them seize. But 30 seconds at a time is plenty. My oven is like a hundred. It's really hot to the touch because I left that burner on that whole time. I'm glad I noticed that. I want to make a cinnamon pizza with marshmallows on top. A cinnamon pizza. That sounds interesting. Sounds good to me. I love anything cinnamon. Um, I'm going to get some parchment and spread that other marshmallow on it so I can cut it up into marshmallows. They're so good, these marshmallows. I love to just... Alright, that might have done it. I love to just pop them in my mouth. Just a handful of marshmallows. All right, we're almost there. I'm only gonna do like maybe 20 seconds. I just laid the chocolate covered spoon on my planner. Oh. See, I've got enough extra marshmallow here to probably have a, a decent amount of you know cut up marshmallows. You could put it in a pan to make a square. I'm literally just going to spread it out and chop it into pieces because really, it does not need to be perfect. I'm eating it, nobody else, so who cares? Huh. All right, my chocolate is melted with a little bit of oil, which when that firms up is going to be like frosting. If you overcook your chocolate chips, Marlene, if you, any chocolate chips, if you overcook them in the microwave, they will turn hard like Seize right up and it won't be good. I'm gonna put some cream in here, probably like two tablespoons, because that will make this like a ganache. And when this firms up, y'all, when this firms up on that, it is going to taste like fudge with that cream in there. I mean, oh yeah. You, when you're putting the cream in, you need to stir a lot to really incorporate it. And you need to keep going because it can break. All right, that chocolate is cold. Why aren't you using a spatula, KJ? Why are you using a spoon? You're not going to scrape all that chocolate out with a spoon. That'll take care of it. Real health cooks and coaches tell you not to like lick the spoon and take bites while you go, but that ain't me, girl. I hope I have enough. I hope I have enough cho chocolate. I have some graham cracker crumbs in the fridge, graham cracker crumbs that I made that I, or freezer, that I keep in the freezer for just a time is this. And I'm gonna sprinkle some on the top cause it's gonna make it pretty. I don't know why it's lower there than it is everywhere else. Apparently I didn't put enough marshmallow in that corner. Oh, Lord have mercy, that looks good. All right, let me get the graham crackers. Where you at, graham cracker? Go. All right, who's been stealing my graham cracker crumbs? Freaking graham cracker thief coming in here at night stealing my THM graham cracker crumbs. 
I don't like fudge anymore because one time my mom said we had to he had to eat up the leftover fudge and honeydew from our family picnic and we stuffed ourselves silly with fudge and honeydew and I got sick. <laughs> Mickey. All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle some graham cracker crumbs on here. I keep these in the freezer all the time, you guys. All the time. They're just the beauty blend graham crackers and then I make them messy in the air fryer and crush them up and put them in my freezer and they stay perfectly lord have mercy look at this Bonnie did you come all the way up here to me and sneak in my house and steal my half cup of graham cracker crumbs come on now make your own all right there we go people check that out I don't know if you you can't really see much but Graham cracker crumbs on the top, s'more bars. All right, so listen, I can't cut one of these out because you know they're not firmed up yet. So really, I'm not supposed to do this. I'm supposed to let them firm in the fridge because that cheesecake has gelatin it needs to firm up, but I can't. We have to take a piece out, just a little tiny piece. It's probably not gonna come out. I should have just used a spoon because it's not gonna come out neat. It's not gonna come out in a bar. It's gonna come out messy because it's not firmed up, but we have to taste it as a whole. When they come out, when they're all firmed up, I'll stick them in the fridge. And when they're all firmed up, I'll take a nice picture. You're right in my coffee time. It's gonna be on fire this week. Holy crap. Gotta say, those are 100% what I imagined they would be. And when they firm up and get cold in the fridge, I might cry, they're gonna be that good. Those are good y'all. And it's not really that jiggly. It's gonna firm up quick. So the graham cracker, graham, I need a drink. They're rich, I'll say that. I need to drink my cold joe. The graham cracker um, crumbs are beauty blend crackers from Trim Healthy Table. There's in the back and near the end, there's beauty blend recipes and these are the beauty blend graham crackers. There's all this work about smoothing them out in a pan and cutting them and letting them cool and crisp. I don't do any of that. I put them in my air fryer, messy. I dump them right in there on a piece of parchment spread it around, cook it till it's done, take it out, let it cool, crumble it up, throw it in a Ziploc bag and stick it in the fridge. And then if I want to use it for a crust, all I gotta do is add some butter and, pat and put it in the bottom. Way easy. Easy peasy. Hi Bass. Nothing here for you, my man. Maybe a little marshmallow? You want a little bit of marshmallow? Say hi to the ladies. Have some marshmallow. Yes, it's safe, sweet enough for the dog. Don't worry. Come here. Come on. Want some marshmallow? <laughs> he likes it. He's like, Looking for more. Good boy, aren't you? All right, you guys, there we go. He always does that. He knows when I'm done and he comes out and gets a drink and wants a bite every time. It's so funny. So all right, right there, all right there. I don't know what that was. That was like a Canadian accent. All right there, finished with my uh, cheesecake bars and I'm, uh, I'm done cooking for the day and I'm gonna go clean. I got some cleaning to do there, Bassy. Right? Right there. I don't know. I think that's Canadian accent. I really don't know. All right, guys. I love you all. If you have not signed up for the candy making class, it's two weeks from yesterday. Go sign up. The link is on my website, www.joyfullifewithkj.com. We're going to make s'more, uh, Snickers. We're going to make, uh, Junior Mints. We're going to make peanut butter cups. And we're going to make Twix. So if you want to learn how to make those things and have fun making them together on a Friday night and be all ready for Halloween so that no little rug rat walks by you with a bag of candy and, you know, tempts you. I sounded like a straight up Mainer, huh, Andrea? Not a Canadian, a Mainer. It's old Mainers. We got the stupidest accents up here in Maine. Um, right? Don't wait there, Bassie. 
Anyway, we're gonna make lots of candy. So, you know, the kids can eat their candy with all their junk in it and get their diabetes and you can stay healthy and eat your Snickers, your Reese's Cups, Reese's Cups, your Twix and your Junior Mints. So listen, go sign up for that class. If you are part of my ongoing coaching, you get free access to all of my classes. I'm going to be doing a Mommy and Me cupcake. I'm doing a charcuterie, 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 char, char, chuchi, however you pronounce that, board class. I know how to make them, I just don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to be doing a um, Thanksgiving pies class. I'm going to be doing a Christmas goodies class. So you're gonna to wanna to sign up for these. If you are part of my ongoing coaching, you get to be in those all included. So go check out my website for the details on the ongoing coaching, sign up, you won't regret it. There are lots of wins that happen in that. Someone asked what the okra challenge is this week. We're gonna be getting in okra every day, Anne-Marie, some way or the other, and you're gonna learn all about the benefits of okra and how to implement it into your day. Okra baby. I should have put okra in this and then I'd have it taken care of for the whole week. I don't know, Maribeth. I think it, it probably tastes okay frozen, but when you take it out of the freezer, I think the cheesecake filling would get soft again, maybe because of the gelatin. I don't know. Eight bags, Sherry. Good night. <laughs> Sherry's like, I'm doing this challenge. I'm going to eat eight bags of okra in like six days. All right, you guys, I love you all. I hope you have a blessed, blessed Saturday. Stay on plan for crying out loud. Go make some of these if you're worried about staying on plan. You, you don't need to go off plan when you have this. I love you all. Have a blessed day. I'll see you back tomorrow morning for treadmill devotions, and then I will see you back Monday for more cooking. Bye, guys. I said bye too early. I didn't have my phone ready again. There's a shocker. Say bye, Marin. Bye.